Hold on a second. I got the CEO of a new client on the phone and we need to talk it over. Hey, how's it going? Yeah? Now we had some great calls. What do you what do you have in mind? Metrics? Not a good idea. Why? Okay, here's an example. Now with the engineers, do you count the lines of code? No. Why not? What? You did that and what happened? Oh, you got lots of lines of code that didn't work, that you had to maintain, that were full of bugs. And what did you do? You stopped counting lines of code. <laughs> do you just count leads in marketing? You know, like every little lead, every little contact, every little website visit, like, comment, share. Do you count those? Why not? No, tell me. I'm all ears. Oh, it had no correlation to people wanting to buy. Just kept everybody busy, frustrated. And then somebody had to follow up with the lead, maintain the lead, clean the lead, <laughs> nurture the lead. Did you ever compensate finance on the number of checks they write? That's stupid. <laughs> Crazy me. What do I know? Did you ever compensate HR on the number of people they hire? No, why not? Oh, they might just hire anybody, anybody they can. And your company's stuff full of a bunch of people you don't want. Doesn't seem to make sense now. Hmm. Leaders, you're playing a game. You can play the activity game, but you don't win anything if you win that game. The game you want to win is the revenue game, winning the deal. And a lot goes into it. And true, activity is one of them. You have to show up. You have to work. You have to take the actions. But you have to do it with the right people in the right way and do it better than your competition. At the end of the day, your customer is not going to say, now who made the most calls? I'll go with you. That's never happened. So. Forget about the single activity. The result that you want is revenue. That comes from skill, judgment, and ability, not just activity.